Road to GH will reveal some exciting developments on Tuesday, October 15, 2024. First, after weeks of struggling to prove her mother's innocence, Sam has endured countless hardships and frustrations. She has tirelessly investigated, searched for clues, and even faced danger to try and save Alexis from being convicted of killing FBI agent John Cates. Sam knows that without new evidence, Alexis will face a harsh sentence. But the PCPD receives an unexpected item, a gun, mysteriously sent to them. When investigators examine the gun, they discover that it perfectly matches the bullet that killed John Cates. This is a major turning point in the investigation. The gun not only shatters any doubt about Alexis, but also serves as clear proof that she is not the one who shot John. Immediately, the investigation decides to drop all charges against Alexis. She is informed that she will be released after being wrongfully detained. Sam, who has been following every development of the case, can hardly believe her ears when she hears the news. She feels a strong wave of emotion wash over her, relief, joy, and happiness, knowing that her mother will finally be freed. In that moment, Sam embraces her loved ones, tears of pure joy streaming down her face. She can't wait to see her mother, who has endured so much during this ordeal. Sam's resilience and determination have paid off, and now she can smile, knowing that her mother will soon be back with the family. Second, after a long period of conversations and sharing with Jordan, Isaiah feels that the bond between them is growing stronger. Each time they meet, he not only sees Jordan as the brave woman who saved his life, but also someone he greatly admires for both her intelligence and outer beauty. Gradually, Isaiah realizes that his heart has developed feelings for Jordan. Their daily conversations and exchanged glances urge Isaiah to take their relationship to the next level. After much contemplation, Isaiah decides to invite Jordan to dinner. Before making the invitation, he prepares himself mentally, worried about how Jordan might respond. Is she ready to enter a more private and romantic space with him? In the moment of asking, his heart pounds like never before, his gaze fixed on Jordan, awaiting her answer. Jordan, after a brief pause, looks Isaiah in the eyes and smiles as she accepts. Her response, though just a simple nod, makes Isaiah burst with happiness. He can't believe that the strong woman who once saved his life is now giving him the chance to take their relationship further. For him, Jordan is not just a hero, but the woman he has quietly admired for a long time. Her agreeing to have dinner with him is not just an ordinary date, it is a sign that she is willing to give Isaiah a chance to express his feelings. Isaiah cherishes this moment more than anything and knows that this dinner will be a big step toward building a deeper connection between them. He has carefully planned the evening, choosing a cozy and romantic restaurant where candlelight will create an intimate atmosphere for the two of them. In Isaiah's mind, Jordan has always been special not just because she saved his life during his most dangerous moment, but because she is the woman who makes his heart flutter. To him, Jordan is both his savior and the woman he can't stop thinking about. Therefore, he yearns to create beautiful memories with her. And this date is the start of something sweet ahead. Isaiah hopes that over time, their relationship will grow and deepen. Third, Ned Quartermain, with his cunning and calculating nature, has made a suggestive proposal to Drew Kane about ELQ shares. Ned knows that to gain an advantage in the family corporation, he needs to use every trick in the book, and this time, he holds a secret that Drew and Molly want to keep hidden. By exploiting this weakness, Ned believes he can force Drew to agree to his proposal, giving up part of his power in ELQ in exchange for Ned's silence. Drew, though aware that Ned is a devious opponent, finds himself backed into a corner. The secret Ned holds could ruin Drew's reputation and have disastrous consequences for both him and Molly. However, Drew does not want to be easily manipulated and certainly does not want to let Ned control everything. He tries to negotiate with Ned while attempting to maintain his standing in ELQ. Things could get more complicated when Drew realizes that he can't face this scheme alone. Meanwhile, Michael Corinthos, Ned's nephew and a major shareholder in ELQ, quickly catches on to the situation. Michael highly values ELQ's interests and does not want anyone, including Ned, to seize the opportunity to take control. He knows that Ned is playing a dangerous game and Michael will not stand by and watch his uncle succeed. 
he is determined to stop Ned, even if it means directly confronting him. Michael is not only concerned about ELQ, but also cares about Drew, whom he sees as an important part of his life and family. Michael secretly plans to sabotage the deal between Ned and Drew before it can come to fruition. He looks for every way to expose Ned's scheme and protect Drew from being trapped. With his intelligence and decisiveness, Michael intends to stay one step ahead, forcing Ned to retreat. In this power struggle, not only is ELQ's future at stake, but also the honor and careers of many people. Michael knows that failure is not an option. Lastly, Tracy has always loved her granddaughter, Brooke Lynn, but she is also known to be a strict woman, demanding discipline and obedience. Brooke Lynn, on the other hand, is a passionate young woman who longs for the freedom to make her own decisions in life. Today, they had a heated argument. Tracy believes that Brooke Lynn has overstepped into her business, something she cannot tolerate. She thinks Brooke Lynn needs to understand the boundaries between personal life and work, but Brooke Lynn feels stifled, as though her creative ideas are not being respected. Their relationship becomes more strained than ever, with the two generations unable to find common ground.